And uh, when I published my first book of poetry, Chan Ham Goes, back in the late 80s, I turned around and I took a look and I could not find another book in English about Chinese Canadians you know, in Canada that was written. And that's when it hit me that we've had over 150 years of history and that was the first one. And many of the writers, um, Paul Yi, Sky Lee, and others around also felt the same. And that's when Asian Canadian Rights Workshop began to develop. You know, we were basically a support group, but uh, one year, all of a sudden, all of us people out of um, great writing class and English uh, you know, university classes started looking for us. And from 20 odd people, all of a sudden it was 70 people, and then we realized that we have to do something more, so we created a newsletter, and the next thing you know, it started to grow. But the main mission of the Asian Canadian Writers Workshop has always been to help nourish young writers. We wanted to create a whole genre of writing that was not, uh, that we were basically the pioneers of. And so this is also what literation is all about. Literation is a community building initiative. And the whole idea is to bring people together uh, to celebrate, because we have a lot of readers in the community that really hasn't really seen the, our writers as a group, as an entire group, and, and share our own experiences in our writing. Also, it's also a very good opportunity for some of these published writers to share their experiences and their knowledge to some emerging young writers. And so this is why we, we do what we do. The literation is, is in fact, uh, an initiative. It's, uh, it's a building initiative to help to develop young writers. And we're all part of it. You know, you're, you're supporting uh, this, this festival, but also buying books, uh, telling people about the writing. Also, you know, uh, we have all these wonderful workshops for you to go and you know take a lesson, because it's very rare that you actually have an opportunity one-on-one -on -one with a published writer and to be able to Ten years ago, we did this initiative called the Emerging Writer Award. It's called the Asian Canadian Writers Workshop the Emerging Writer Award. At that time, one of our directors said to us, Jen, let's see if we can at least guarantee one Asian writer a year. I mean, 10 years ago, there wasn't that much writing and that was publishing. So we were going to try to do it at least to guarantee a writer. And um, you know, on the fiction, uh, the award winner in fiction was Madeline Tan, and she's done considerably well you know, from, 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 what she, you know, from the award. And also the poetry was Rita Wong. So we have some very strong pedigree. But it's 10 years and now we're reviving this award. And this award's main purpose, you know, and it's unique in many ways because the award is, is designed to attract manuscripts. You know, rather than you know, giving you a prize because you, know, you, you got a great book, we're using it as a mechanism to encourage people to write and submit the manuscripts. And the one that we will publish, we will definitely, you know, uh, when it wins the award, we'll definitely find a publisher for them. But the whole process is that we're hoping that there's more than one. And even those that didn't win, we're going to try very hard to get them published also. So this is something unique that we do. And it's a very unique award. There's no, there's no award in North America that's like this. So we are now announcing it for the very first time. And next year, in the next festival, 2015, will announce the winner of the first fictional Emerging Writer Award. So, you know, uh, I'm, yeah, really, really